Hi, my name is Dr. Tolu and in this video we are going to be discussing three ways by which love changes your brain. Now that sounds really interesting right and I promise you it's going to be really interesting. Alright guys, so if you like what I have to say, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment for me, let me know if you found this video to be interesting or if you have something you'd like me to discuss in the future, leave that as a comment for me as well and I will do my possible best to discuss it sometime in the future. Alright guys, so without much ado, let's begin. Before we get into the three ways through which love changes the brain, I would like to talk a bit about an important research that was done to explore these changes. Now, a certain lady called Helen Fisher, who is a biological anthropologist, she ran tests to find out effects that love has on the brain. And now what she did was she did many brain scans, I mean about 2,500 brain scans on the brains of college students and then she made sure that you know some of the people that she did the scans for were people who were in love romantic love so when she ran the scans she found out that for those who were in love right a part of their brains lit up and um, especially when they saw pictures of the ones that they loved now this part of the brain that lit up um was a part of the brain that is linked to what we call the reptilian brain now to understand what the reptilian brain is we can divide the brain into three parts and of these three parts the part of the brain that controls feeding fights maybe when we are in danger and then we are activated to fight the danger of or flights when we are activated to run away from the danger or reproduction which helps to ensure that our species continues to exist so all these things are controlled by the reptilian brain now some of these parts of the brain that were lit up when people saw images of those that they loved were like the caudate nucleus which has an important role to do with reward, reward expectation and then also the ventral tegmental area or what we can call the VTA is a part of the brain that has to do with um, reward. So these parts of the brain lit up and these parts of the brains are also rich in a chemical called dopamine which brings me to the first effect that love has on the brain. Love has a way of activating parts of the brain that are rich in a substance called dopamine. Right now, dopamine is what you would call the feel-good hormone. The parts of the brain that are lit up when someone is in love are basically the same parts of the brain that are lit up when someone has an addiction, like a drug addiction, like for those who are maybe addicted to heroin or cocaine. The parts of the brain that are lit up by this addiction are the same parts of the brain that are lit up by love. So basically, you can say love is an addiction and that helps to explain the way love affects our behaviors. Now, the second effect that love has on the brain is that it causes an increase in a chemical called cortisol. Now, cortisol is known as the stress hormone. Cortisol is what we feel, let's say we are preparing for exams and then we have a lot to read and then we suddenly don't have any interest in any other thing, but we are just focusing on that, right? So that's what happens when we are under that kind of stress cortisol is released and it helps us to adjust adequately and respond appropriately to that situation. Now, cortisol is something that when it is released for too long, it may lead to some issues, but when it is released adequately, then it helps us to adjust to that stressful situation. That's why you find that for those who are in love, um, maybe especially if the love is new, you find yourself constantly stressing over the person. Right? You find that you're having butterflies in your belly. You find that you have sweaty palms when you see the person, your heart is racing, your heart is beating fast when you see the person that you are in love with. That's some of those effects are due to the increase in cortisol. Now, when cortisol is increased, it causes a reduction in another hormone called serotonin. And when serotonin is released, this increases our likelihood of having preoccupying thoughts about the person. And that's why you find that those who are in love cannot really think about any other thing apart from the person that they are in love with. So the second effect that love has on the brain is to lead to this increase in cortisol which makes us stress about the person we're in love with and a reduction in serotonin which leads us to have preoccupying thoughts about the person that we love. And now the third 
and a very important effect that love has on the brain is the effect that it has on our ability to make sound judgment right now one thing that we've realized from the scans that we run is that when people are in love we've seen that it causes an increase in the feel-good hormone causes an increase in um, the stress hormone but it also causes a reduced activity in the parts of the brain that control judgment the part of the brain that helps us to know if we are being lied to part of the brain like the amygdala right we notice that there is a reduced um, level of activity in those parts of the brain and that's why we find that those who are in love find it hard to see anything especially when the love is still new they find it hard to see anything wrong with their partners i mean you can gather the entire family and say oh this person is not the best person for you this person did this did that and they don't listen to anything they have to say that's partly because the part of the brain that helps them to make judgment calls, help them to make critical assessments of people. There's reduced level of activity with respect to that person when they are in love. I mean, with any other person, they are sharp, but with that person, love has literally made them blind. So when you understand these three effects of love on the brain, then you begin to understand why we behave the way we do when we are in love. Love is such a powerful thing. Love activates the part of the brain that is activated when people have an addiction. So you can say that love is some type of addiction. You can also say that love makes people blind. All these effects, these three effects are things that we see in the brain when we run brain scans on those who are experiencing romantic love. Alright guys, thank you for listening to all I had to say. If you like what I had to say, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment for me and let me know how useful you found this video. And if you have any topics you would like me to discuss in the future or if you have any constructive criticism for me, just leave a comment for me as well and I will do my best to attend to them. Bye. -bye.